So it's the beginning of May and we've got this strong flush of new growth and at this stage, this time of the year, we know that the sap is flowing and this time of year is perfect for making woodsman's whistles. So sycamore is some of my favourite woods to use for this application and this branch is sticking over this path so there's no harm in us pruning this back so we can carefully trim that off and we'll clean that off leaving a nice clean cut so that will regrow so no harm done there and we want to choose a nice clean section of this branch so avoid using these areas where there's branches so we'll trim that off there and we'll get rid of a bit of this excess material so choose that nice clean section I've already got that sort of 45 degree sloping cut at this end and I normally just take off that, that sharp tip because obviously you're going to be putting that in your mouth so you don't want that to be sharp and I want to come back about a centimetre and put a little notch in there you are cutting into the wood as well but basically what you're trying to do is just make sure that there's a nice clean cut in the bark like that come back about three centimetres or so and just score round the branch making sure that you score that bark and then we can put our knife away a minute and then if we've got it right we should be able to give this a little turn and crack that bark off and we don't want to break the wood we just want to take that bark off itself now if it's a little bit stiff like that we can sometimes just give it a bit of a tap with our knife just to make sure that we loosen that bark that helps loosen it just a little bit more so give it a bit of a turn and you should start to feel the the bark move there you go the bark has separated from the actual stem itself you can actually see the sap running out of it now so carefully take that off and that sort of tube of bark now I normally put it in my mouth but obviously you won't hear me talking so I'll pop that carefully in my pocket and then what we need to do is we need to just do a little bit more work with our knife now so we've got our little nick where we started that cut so what we need to do is we need to make that a little bit deeper and then we need to come back here about maybe two centimeters something like that and we'll start to remove this waste material from there so you'll have to do it progressively because we don't want to split the, t the sort of tip of our whistle off so pro progressively cut into there if you want to use against a sort of tree stump or a fence post that sometimes makes it a little bit easier in there that's it and we want to try and keep these cuts as clean as possible because you're trying to get the air to slide into here and hit the bottom and then come back up the chamber if it's too fluffy it won't work very nicely so try and keep those cuts as clean as possible now sycamore is quite a sort of hard dense timber but it is relatively straight grain, so you can sort of use the grain to help split those fibres out. So just tidy up that bottom of the cut. Like so. So about, about down to the pith should normally work. Don't need to make it too deep. Just get rid of those few fibres. So now we're left with this sort of channel here. Now what I need to do is I need to just cut an angled sloping cut back off that way and that's going to allow the air from our mouths to sort of enter that chamber. Again clean cuts so now we should have this nice sweeping cut coming off that end. So we'll fold our knife away again, retrieve that bit of bark that we kept in our pocket you should be able to slide that back on carefully carefully and what we want to try and do is line that little cut that we've got on the inside back up with our original cut we put here and sometimes it needs a little bit of tweaking but this is the moment of truth moment of truth it's all the sap coming out of it so we place that to our lips 
and there you go lovely little woodsman's whistle now if it didn't work first of all what you can do is you can take your bark off and just tidy up those cuts or sometimes even elongate that last cut as well just to allow a bit more air in there but that's pretty good now what you will find is as this dries out it might lose the ability to actually make a sound but all you need to do is either moisten it with your mouth or put it in a little bucket of water and that's where the terminology to wet one's whistle comes from to wet your whistle means it gets it working again so yeah 100 percent biodegradable woodsman's whistle so you can play that in the woods as you wander along